Hi y'all. Welcome to today's video. Welcome if you're new here. Today I am doing two different looks. One's like teen down a little. One is kind of having a little fun. I'm gearing up for New Year's, so I'm trying to decide which New Year's look to go with, and I need your help. Which would you choose? On this channel, we create beauty one palette at a time, but today, apparently, we're doing two. So, I have Natasha Denona, and I have Nomad. So, these two palettes, we're doing two different looks. So, grab your brushes, grab your palettes, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I am going to go on the outer corner with Night Sky. With this, I, I'm just going to try to stay low. Like, I don't want to go anything above my natural crease. Like, I just want to stay, like, right here. And I just want to stay on this outer corner. And I don't want to go too far out, but I don't want to go too far in either. And to me, at least on my skin, this color, the shade, has, like, a, mm, has like a blue tint to it. There's that. I think, which is the uh, love or hate with this palette, like, it depends on your skin tone, on whether these colors are going to pull blue or if they're going to pull gray. On my skin, they pull blue. But I still love this palette. Okay, so above that, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with Snurt. And I'm just going to go right here, like where we ended, and I am going to go in the crease, the natural crease, and I'm going in windshield wiper motions and swirling, and I'm not really worried about what's going to come down on the lid. I just don't want to go any higher up. So I'm trying to stay in this natural crease right here. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So I started here. And I'm going to stay in this natural crease. So I just want to like stay, you know, in the crease. I don't want to go any higher. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to deepen this. So I'm going to go in a second time. Like that. So like, I'm not worried about what's coming down on this lid. I just don't want to go up any higher, but I super, every time I use this palette, I like how this gets smoked out. Natasha Denona's formulas are so, so easy. At least for me, very easy. So I'm going to go in with another BK Beauty brush and I'm going to go right underneath the brow. I'm going to go in with Rhyme and I'm just going to stay as close to the brow as I possibly can. I super love this. I'm telling you, this palette is amazing. I'm going to see what this does on a brush. I usually apply these with my finger. So next to this line right here, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go into Cygnus. And this is like a gunmetal silver. And I, I use this shade a lot. So I'm just going to feather this in on this line. Right there. Now I'm going to take the same brush and I am going to go into Sposh. And I am just going to go right here. I'm just going to tap like where my, where my crease is to my eye, like the very tippy tippy outer corner. And I'm just going to smudge this in. So I'm just going to stay right here again, smudge this in, it's going to stay right here, like where, where the outside of my eye meets. And I'm just going to kind of smudge this into my lashes. So I just want to stay like right here. I'm just smudging. Love it. I'm going to go in with flurry. And this, I'm going to take all over the lid, and this is a matte, and I am just tapping this in. And I'm trying to stay, like, just, like, halfway in. 
So I'm not trying to disrupt all of the color that we put down. So I'm going to go in with grew. I think that's how you pronounce that on my finger. And I am just tapping this in and I'm staying right on top of that mat that we laid down. And with a separate finger, I'm going in with superonic, I think that's how you say that. And I am just going to go down that center just like that. I'm going to take a brush I'm going to feather just this line right here. I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to go into that shimmer white. I don't know how to say that name, so I'm not even going to try. And this is more of a topper. And so I am just going to go in the inner corner with that. Okay, back in with Gru or gray Gru. I think it's Gru. So, y'all, I am super loving this. Okay. And then that super, what is it? Super anon, super, that super shade. We're just going to say it's a super shade. Now I'm going to take that same brush and I am just going to lightly with a very, very, very light hand, just feather this in. I'm going to take the same brush, go into, whoa, maybe that was a happy accident. I really, really like it though. So yes, it was a happy accident. I like it. I am going to go into Sposh again, and this, I'm going to meet up out here, but I am just going to rub this in, in the lower lash line. And y'all, I am not having any fallout with these shades. So the quality is there. I would not expect anything else from Natasha Denona. Y'all, mm, I super like this. I'm going to go in with Sposh one more time. Did you guys pick up this not Natasha Denona palette? Because I am so glad I did. I saw it. And I knew when I saw it, I was going to pick it up whether she was one of my favorite brands or not. But with Natasha Denona, I'm a completionist. So yeah, there's that. So I knew I was going to pick it up either way. But yes, the, the cool tone colors right up my alley. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me finish the eyes for look one. Hold on your butt. Okay, y'all, here's the finished look of look number one. I like it. I added stones. So this is just a fun little look. This is Natasha Denona Zenon palette. And this is look number one. For the second look, we are using Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town for the second look. And just in case you don't know, here is the color story. And I'd like to stay here, maybe use this or this, not sure. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go all over the lid, like lower part of the lid with Deadwood. And I just pack this on and I kind of go like almost to the crease, but not quite, but I just stay like right out here and I try to come in more. I super love this color, but I, like there is a crease right here on my eye. So I try to go like right above that and I try to pack the color in and I'm not having any fallout. So that's a plus. Right above that, I'm going in with Bandit Queen. And I just go in with windshield wiper motions, circular motions. And I go up to the crease to try to fade this out. That is my favorite way to wear this palette is by doing this particular 
way to lay it down on my eye. So I go down, I'm touching that color again, windshield wiper motions, circular motions. Okay, so with whatever's left on this brush, I go in and I just pack on and I'm not worried about this fallout because that's just from bumping and blending. Now, right above that, I am going to go in with Undead Sheriff. And I go right above that to blend that line. And this color, I usually just, this is how I like frame my eye out here. And I try to like smoke it out and blend out here with it. So I'm going to do the same to this eye. I just go right above that color and I want to leave a space right under the brow. I'm framing out this eye just like that. Okay, so with an empty brush, I am going to go right underneath the brow very, very lightly. I go in with Rayolette Nevada and I try to be very light. And I just, this is how I highlight the brow. Like I just, I just try to be really careful. And I'm barely dipping into that shade because y'all, I have a heavy hand. So I have to be super careful on how much product is on my brush and how I lay it down as well. Okie dokie, there's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same shade with the brush, inner corner, Now, with my finger all over the lid, I'm going to go in with Garnet, and I just tap this on, and I try to stay, I mean, yes, I go all over the lid, but I try to stay more in the center. I'm going to switch to a sponge applicator, and I'm tapping in, and I'm staying right here in the center, trying to stay below the crease. Just like that. Okay, in the center of that, I'm going in with my finger and I'm going in with Tombstone. Just in the center of that, like that. Okay, underneath the lower lash line, I like to go in with Bandit Queen and I'm gonna go rub this into the lower lashes. The shade. Y'all, I love this palette. Like, I, it does never leave my desk, so let's be brutally honest. Underneath that, I am going to go with Undead Sheriff. Okay, y'all. Don't make any itchy eyes. Hold on your butts. Okay, y'all. Here is the second look. I like this one. It's very plain. I didn't put any eyeliner on on top. I just put the lashes on that have a band on it that have a like a black band on the lower lash line. I just put on nude eyeliner. So yeah, tell me what you think. Would you do like this, like tame it down and let the clothes talk? Or would you do both clothes and makeup? So do the Natasha Denona look or Nomad? Can you tell me in the comments? Any hoosies, I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. Like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell down there just so you know when I upload next. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Toodles.